This spring meal will include spinach barley salad with mushrooms and beet salad with walnuts. I'll start by centering myself and I will light a little candle for spring. Bright red color. Hold that as I'm centering myself, trying to draw on the fresh springtime energy and vitality from all nature. That vitality is everywhere in spring, even in the heart of a city. This will enable me to infuse the food with that same vitality. Closing my eyes, taking a few deep breaths. Taking it in, filling my whole being with that vitality. So I will start with the spinach barley salad with mushrooms. First I will cook the barley part and you can see the pearl barley that I'm going to use. And pearl barley is a whole grain barley from which the outer hull and bran has been removed. It's the most common form of barley that is available because it cooks faster and it's less chewy than other less processed forms of barley, like barley groats. So bar pearl barley is similar to wheat in its nutritional value of protein, of vitamins and minerals. It is used in soups, stews, casseroles, salads and even desserts. So I have rinsed one cup of the pearl barley two or three times. You can rinse them until the water becomes clear. I have my pressure cooker here. So I'll put the barley in, the rinsed barley. So you wash it, uh, the, the barley sticks to each other. So, so I had to use my hand. Right, and I'm going to use three cups of water. A little bit of Celtic salt. Mix this. And close my pressure cooker. Seal it, turn it on, and I will bring it to a full boil and uh, simmer it for about eight minutes. That's all. So while this is cooking, I'll move things away and then I will saute the, the ingredients that will go along with the barley. So now the um, pressure cooker is simmering. We have about three minutes still to go. It will simmer for about eight minutes. If you would have cooked the barley in a regular pot, you probably need about 35 or 40 minutes to um, simmer. So now I will saute green onion with some sesame seeds and then add some mushroom to it. And then we also will add this time baby spinach. So let me start turning them on. So about two tablespoons of each. I'm just going to eyeball it. It's a nice mixture. The olive oil will add a nice flavor. Let me move these. All right, so heating up the oil. And I will add about two tablespoons of sesame seeds, which will give a nice addition of um, taste and also protein. And this is about six to eight green onions, finely minced. And then we'll add the um, white button mushrooms, about two cups. You can see here we slice them thinly. Okay, so starting with 
sesame seeds. Add the green onion. It's okay. Don't like to heat the um, olive oil, especially too high, too much. Okay. Move this. So let that just saute for a minute. add a touch of Celtic salt here. And after I added the mushrooms, I will let that saute for about um, five to eight minutes until the mushrooms get soft. Then I will add the spinach to it. And if you use a regular spinach, then you want to chop it. But since the baby spinach is so small, you, I will, can just keep it whole, just rinse it. Okay, so this is four cups of fresh spinach. Then we add a little bit of bread and a little bit of fresh, bell, uh, fresh uh, black pepper. So, Okay, those are the eight minutes. I'm gonna turn it off. Let it uh, come down so I can open the pressure cooker. Adding the mushrooms. So, as the mushrooms sauteed, they will start releasing their own juices and will start to soften. A little bit more Celtic salt. Turn the heat down. Cover it. The mushroom absorb the, um, all the oil, all the liquids, but then they start to release their own juices and will start to soften. So I will let this, I'll start by three minutes, I'll see how it goes, and when it's ready, then we'll add the spinach. So now it's been about four minutes. It seems it doesn't need more than you can see how it's become moist as the um, mushroom releases their juices and start to soften. So it didn't take just four or five minutes is enough. And now I will add the fresh spinach. It won't take long, maybe two minutes to get softened. Those are very fresh, young spinach. Baby spinach, wonderful for the spring. Turn the heat a little higher. It will wilt very quickly. Leave it here for a moment. And I will add about two tablespoons of brag, you can use tamari if you prefer. And you can use a little bit of sprinkling of black pepper, use fresh. And that will be the addition to fold it later, combining the sauteed vegetables with the cooked barley. And we turn it off, it still need a little bit time uh, to release the pressure before I can fold it in. And that will be a wonderful um, salad, the barley salad. You see how the spinach, I'm gonna turn it off. Started to soften, adding the, the brag. Barley needs a lot of help. If you use it by itself, it's just too plain. 
without flavor. So this will give it a nice flavor. And just a little bit of black pepper. Ooh, black pepper is strong. Okay, so now all is left is to have the barley ready and we'll mix it with the sauteed vegetables. So anytime you have barley, if you saute onion or cabbage or any vegetables, just start with a little bit of oil, would add a nice addition to the barley. So now I can open the pressure cooker. Okay. So what I can see is that the barley did not absorb all the water, which is just fine. And so in this case, and that can happen, you can just strain it. And if it happens to you when you cook rice, then you just strain it. So I will do it now. You can see that. All right. Put this aside. And just drain the leftover water. And put this in the bowl. this aside and now we have the have one little barley here we have the vegetables take this you can see and put this right in with the barley Get a nice flavor. So, mix it together. See the four cups of spinach really have shrunk a bit, quite a bit. So this is our simple barley, spinach, and mushroom dish. And now I'll leave that aside and I will prepare the beet salad with walnuts and feta cheese. So now I'll make the beet salad. And you can see this is two medium beets, fresh. I peeled them and grated them. And beet is a vital source of energy. It is rich in vitamins and minerals and um, it has um, vitamin C, iron, magnesium, and it is also a blood cleanser. So as I said, those are two medium-sized beet that were peeled and grated, and I make a nice dressing for them. You can grate them with a hand grater or in the food processor, it makes it much easier. So this will gonna be an orange ginger dressing. Before I do that, since I'm going to add also walnuts, I will toast them. This is about half a cup. So I will turn this on, put the walnuts in, watching them. And meanwhile, I will add about four cups fresh orange juice. I'm just mixing the first in a little bowl. This is a very easy um, dressing. And this is about two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. One tablespoon of maple syrup. The blend with the citrus is very, very nice. And this is one and a half teaspoons of fresh ginger juice. And I'll show you in a minute how to do that. So mix it all. So this is our dressing. I'll put this here away. Check that. Okay. 
Just toast them in a dry pan. This is fresh ginger. What you like to do is you don't need to even peel it. You just grate it, and I grate it a little bit. And then, since we're doing a small amount, there's no need to put it in a cheesecloth, but just hold it in the palm of your hand and just squeeze it, okay? I'm going to take a little bit more. Okay, see, you need quite a bit of ginger to just do even one, try it with my other hand, um, just to get, a, you know, a teaspoon and a half. So this is the how you juice um, ginger. And it's very nice to use the ginger juice because it's much more subtle. Wipe my hands, move this aside. Checking the walnuts. Are getting there. Smell it and I can see it. Turn it down. Got my grated beets. Add here the dressing. All right. Mix it in. And to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of crumbled feta cheese. And if you are dairy free, just don't use it. That's just fine. Just use the toasted walnuts. So I'm just going to, with my hands, just cut it. Usually, come, you can buy it in a small kind of block and then just with your hands just fine. You like nice to have the chunks because it gives a little texture. It goes nicely with the grated beets. Check it all. It's about half a cup. This is a forgiving recipe. If you like a lot of feta, but feta also is very salty, so you don't want to add too much of it. So I think this is good. All right, turn this off. I'm going to add the feta. Nice contrast, color-wise. Nice salad for the spring. Adding the walnuts. I actually left them I didn't chop them or anything. Nice to give it a little crunch and a texture to the beets. You can hear the sizzling sound. For balance, it smells great. For balance, we're just going to add fresh leaves of spinach. Oh, sorry, this is cilantro. The spinach was in the barley, okay? So here are the fresh cilantro leaves. You know, just a little bit. Mix it in, add a nice color and a nice flavor. So this is it. This is our beet salad. And then we have the barley with the spinach and the mushroom very simple to make and very healthy. So now we just have to dish the meal. So here is our spring meal, the barley salad and the beet salad. And an inspiration for you, eating is meant to nurture and energize our bodies. So try to choose fresh foods that are filled with vitality, not foods that are overly processed then your body will be better able to absorb that vitality. And it will want that kind of food. The better you eat, the better you will feel. So enjoy your meal.